Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Pano and Michael Sileti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.10 from the chapter number 4. So we have to design a combinational circuit that will find out the two's complement of a given 4-bit binary number. Then we have to show that the circuit can be constructed with exclusive OR gates. That means we have to express the circuit in terms of exclusive OR operation. Then we have can you predict what the output functions are for a 5-bit two's complementer. Then we are asked about what will be the two's complement function for a 5-bit complementer. Okay, for 5-bit complementer, we have to just find out the 5th-bit expression. Okay, okay, because we will have already have the 4-bit expression. Now, let us solve this problem. I have written here 4-bit binary numbers starting from 00 to 15. Okay, 00, 00, 00 to 1111. Now, let us find out the 2th complement of these given binary numbers. Okay, so 00, 00, 00, 00. what will be the 1's complement? 1's complement will be 1111. Then for finding out the two's complement, we have to again add one with one 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 one. Then we will have one zero 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 zero. Okay, so one will be discarded, so we will be having zero 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 zero. Then we have zero 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 one. So from this number, we will have one's complement will be one 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 zero. That means you just have to invert the digits. Okay, we have you have to invert the binary bits. So one's complement will be one 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 zero. Then for finding out two's complement, we will have to add one. So it will be one 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 one. One 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 one. Okay. Then we have zero zero one zero. That means one's complement will be one one zero one. Okay, so we'll have one 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 zero. Now let me write all the remaining. So this is the two's complement table. So we have find out the two's complement W, X, Y, Z. These are also binary digits. Okay, these will be this number will be the two's complement of this number. Okay, similarly, this in the right hand side we have the two's complement of the number in the left hand side. Okay, now we have found out the two's complement of the numbers. So from this we have to find out the expression for W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, so for W, we have to put this values 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, this one again 0, 0, 0, 0 in this came up for W. Okay, and from that we will find out the expression for W. So we have here 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, then we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, then we have 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, Again, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so this is the KMF for W. Now we have to take the possible combinations. We can combine like this. This will be one term. This will be another term. Then third term will be this one. Okay, and fourth term will be this one. So we have here the first term. Will, suppose this will be the first term. So we'll have D from this side and from this side A bar D. A bar D plus from this time we will have a bar c plus from this time what we will have a bar b a bar b plus from this time what we will have a b bar c bar d bar a b bar c bar d bar okay so we have got this expression now we have to express in terms of xor operation okay because it is given in the question so we'll take common a bar so from this time we'll get b plus from this time we'll get c plus this time we'll get d okay plus a whole into suppose this if we use de morgan's theorem b bar c bar d bar we can write it as b plus c plus d whole bar okay so here we can see that a bar b plus a b bar expression okay so we can write it as a xor b plus c plus d okay so this is the expression for w then we have to find out the expression for x okay so for x we have to put this value 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 
then we have 1 0 0 0 then we have 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 then we have 1 0 0 0 so we can detect the combinations like this one this will be one term but this will be the second term okay this will be the third term so how we can write so from this term we will have b c bar d bar c bar d bar plus from this term we will have it is b bar and d plus from this term we will have b bar c okay so from this we can write it as b this c bar d bar we can write it as c plus d whole bar this is using de morgan's theorem again if we take b bar common we will get c plus d so this is again we have a b bar plus a bar b combination so we can write it as b xor c plus d so this is the expression for x then we have to find out the expression for y for y we have 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 then we have for 7 we have 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 it will be 1 6 will be 1 0 0 1 so we'll have 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 so this time we'll have 1 0 1 0 so we'll have 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 this will be 1 okay 1 0 okay then we have 0 1 1 0 and 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 okay so this is the came for y so we can take a combination like this and this will be another combination y we can write it as so it is c bar d c bar d plus from this term we will have c d bar c d bar okay so we can write it as y equal to c xor d okay so we have got the expression for w x x is b xor c plus d and y is c xor d then we have to find out the expression for z for expression for z we have to put these values in the game map 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 okay so 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 so we'll have only one term okay so z is equal to d so we have got the expression for w x y and z now we have to draw the logic circuit of this complementer so we have four inputs a b c and d okay so these are the four input lines so first w will be a x or b plus c plus d first of all let us find out b plus c plus d b c d so you say or get here okay so we'll get here b plus c plus d okay then we have to find out the xor operation with a so take a line from a use an xor gate okay so here the one input will be this one b plus c plus d one will be a okay so we'll get here w then we have x x is b xor c plus d so first of all you find out c plus d c plus d okay use or get c plus d then we have to find out the xor with b xor with b so use xor get here so here we'll get x then we have y equal to c xor d okay this is take a line from c the line from d you say xor get okay so we'll get here y and z is nothing but d so take a line from d and z is this one so this is the logic circuit of a 4-bit two complementer 
okay so we have found out that we have designed the circuit in the last part of the question we have to predict the output function for a 5 bit tooth complementer okay so we have we'll have the this same implement same functions or same expressions for, for the uh, least significant bits z y x and w okay then suppose if we have a fifth bit that is v so we have to find out the expression for v so we can write it as for a five bit two complementer with msp msb equal to e then the output then the output small v suppose small v equal to e xor a plus b plus c plus d a plus b plus c plus d because we can see here that c xor d then for x we have to add c and d then xor b then for w again a plus b plus c plus d this one xor a and for if we have suppose v then we'll have e xor a plus b plus c plus d okay so this is the expression for the fifth bit thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you